Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We're reviewing today, which, man, these are so cool. They just are. Like, this is a great car, and like, it's here in our showroom, and it's amongst a lot of other incredible supermodels in all of these showrooms that we have here. However, when this car is outside of this building on the road with pedestrian vehicles, right? Pedestrian vehicles, this is a show stopper man the sound the feel the way the shifters bent forward we could talk about all the details of this stuff as we go around but i just want to tell you superformance cobra we're now a superformance dealer and so superformance cobras really are uh what i feel is probably the best value the best package and the best quality out there and here's why it's not a kit car a kit car would come in boxes and you'd assemble it yourself in your garage not that you're not talented enough but we don't know uh, who knows what about what. And so when you're buying cars like in Factory 5 or some of the other kits that are out there, in Factory has still a great car, but I'm just saying that's a kit car. It comes in pieces, you assemble it. The Superformance Cobra does not come that way. It comes as a roller, meaning that it looks exactly like this when it shows up. It's painted, it has the wheels and tires on it, the brakes have been bled, the electrical system's in place, it has the German leather seating inside, it has the stripes if you wanted it that way. The only thing missing is the drivetrain, right? Which allows them to ship in the country, then we put the drivetrain in it, and boom, there you have a killer, great muscle car, sports car, all season, cool, uh, cool, cool car. All right, so we like to talk about paint. You know, these are labeled as Guardsman Blue, but really these cars are, I believe, Royal Blue. Guardsman Blue is a lighter blue with a little bit more green in it. You see, you can pull that up in there and you'll see it a little different. Regardless, this is a great color, it's very iconic. The part I love most about it though, however, is these stripes are painted on, they're not decals. And once they paint them on, then they clear the whole car over. And that's an important tiny step, stainless steel rivets. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about a few rivets? You're right, that's not a big deal. However, stainless steel rivets cost 10 times the price of regular rivets. And here we, we wash a car, have a car, take care of a car without worrying how things rusting and things like that on it. The quality of the paint, I think it's awesome. You might want to take this to a car show, Cars and Coffee, and I can guarantee you, you pull up in Cars and Coffee in this, and somebody has a nice 599 GTB over there. That's a great looking car and a great sounding car as well, but guaranteed heads turn when you pull in here. All right, so you may want to go to a car show, or you may just want to open this, grab a beer, glass of wine, soda, whatever, and just stare at it. There's so much room in here, it's crazy, right? How did they come up with so much space inside these cars? This is an FE size engine, right? So it's the 390 all the way up to the big motors. It's got the over flow tank that's been polished. It's got twin electric fans in there. It's got oil cooler, uh, ceramic coated headers. And look how beautifully detailed everything is. It's got power brakes too, power four wheel disc brakes turkey baster pan to give you the fresh air that comes right in here, not taking in the hot air from inside the engine compartment. This is a bad mamma jamma. All right, so this is, uh, this is no mistaking what this car is from behind, right? And let me point out a couple of things some of you may know about them and some of you may not know what that means. So this would be the race version of this. They made a street version and a race version. How do you tell the difference? First off is you look at these right here. Typically on a street version, you'd have a bumper right there. These are called quick jacks. Why are they called quick jacks? Because here's what they would do. They had a cart with a bar at the end of it. They'd roll the cart bar up. They push that down, which would then jack up the whole back of the car. Two rear wheels could come off. They could swap the tires real quick and back on the track and back on the road in no time without having to get into the car jack up this side, then jack up that side, and go through all of that nonsense. That's what those are called. They look really great. If you want bumpers, the mounts are the same, right? And you can always put bumpers on there if you wanted to. Secondly, okay, these cars, which I like a lot because they come with a top, right? And they come with windows. If you get caught somewhere, you either got to get under a bridge or what have you. In this case here, it has a full convertible top. It has windows. The windows even slide to give you some air. This has a modern heating system in it. It's not just a, 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 a one season car. Like you could use this all the time. It's just, I don't know why I get excited about them because they're just really, really fun and great looking. And they miss the fit and finish is great. All right, so uh, once you're in here, listen, I'm 6'1", and there is a lot of room in here. These are big cars uh, once you're in, right? Say, well, how do you get in? Well, there's actually a real simple way to get in. If you ever want to know how to do that, what I do is I put one foot on the clutch pedal. When I get in, I put my foot on the clutch pedal and I push my foot down, which gives me extra room to get the rest of myself in and I slide right on in. That's how I get in all the small cars, especially when you have long legs. 
But really what we want to talk about is what goes on inside here. So we have heater controls and we have some cool stuff and I'm going to give you some trivia stuff that a lot of people do know and some people don't know and I like to talk about that. Wind wings, for instance, that makes a big difference of how the air comes in. Air usually comes in through the back and that's how it gets very windy in here. But this gives you a little bit of protection. The shifter, why is the shifter bent forward? It doesn't make sense. Well, I'm going to show you why. When the engine is installed with the transmission, this is where it would sit. So if we were here, right, and it was in gear, when you go to put it into a second, uh, third, or fifth gear, you would hit the firewall each and every time. So by moving the shifter forward like this, they are able to eliminate that. And see, my arm never gets near that, all right? Reverse counter speedometer, right? If it was over here, your hand is on the wheel, you can't really see it, right? Because you're looking at the tack and that's there. They put it this way here so it's easier to see. And Lucas and Smith's gauges that are in here, these are the best gauges. These are the gauges that originally came on the car. That's why the Superformance car is really a lot more authentic than the other ones. Nice set of mats in here, real, uh, real wool carpeting, and just finished door panels and pockets and like a place for your cell phone and just really cool. And if you want to, we can actually put a radio in the car. Some people say, well, I never want a radio because I want to hear the car. But if you do want a stereo, we hide a stereo right here behind the seat. Two speakers go back there in the firewall as well. And you got some tunes uh, rolling down the road. All right, so we close up this video. This is a real deal sports car, man. It's not a four cylinder uh, Sunbeam Alpine. Uh, it's not like a four cylinder MGB. This is a big block, five speed, heavy duty rear, big brakes, big tires, animal, right? It drives like a beautiful little car when you want to drive it. It drives like a little sports car. It's awesome how they do that. And if you want to get on it, man, you give it a little gas. And because it doesn't weigh a lot, it rolls on down the road. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it and how uh, we find a way to get into your garage. And uh, if you want, uh, share this video if you don't mind with your friends. You could uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to send you some content. And if you would, to help us out a little bit, like the video below. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.